July 21st. It's been a year. Welcome to Zero to Sixty Free Running. Welcome back to our channel. 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 What's up guys? Welcome 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 Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome back to Zero to Sixty Free Running. We've started our channel on July 21st, 2018 and posted our first video on the same day. If you're watching this on the day it's been uploaded, it's been exactly one year since our start. Our first year on YouTube. Can I do the intro? Oh! What's going on? Oh, don't mind him. Anyway, our first year on YouTube has been one to remember, and it's definitely been- okay. Let's just get to the video. Okay, fine. How did you do that? Come back, come back! Breaking rules at Launch Trampoline Park. on trampoline and then transition it to ground. Learning the simple forward roll. It's a basic move where you just crouch down and you put your hands on the ground, you tuck your head in, and you roll over. Over rotating is better than under rotating. I let go of my tuck when I can see the sky. So first I jump up, I tuck, I flip over, and then I let go of my tuck when I can see the sky right back. You have to have a lot more leg strength to get high in the air. Now I'll show you the next step, the scariest one. Today we're gonna do a POV video on what it looks like to flip. So over there, he has a, um, a GoPro mounted to a chest mount on his chest, so it's like right here. Today, we're going to the Washington Auto Show. Today, we're going to teach you how to do a ball out and land it. Before you learn the ball out, you need to learn the front flip and the three quarters flip. I'm going to play that clip back in slow motion so you can see how it's done. You're going to dive down and tuck in at the last second. You're going to jump really high, dive down, do the crash dive. And as soon as you hit the ground, you're going to do the ball out, but you're going to tuck really close to your chest like that and release like you're doing a front flip.
today we're going to a local auto show. We're gonna be doing a regular training session. I'm gonna be working on my brainy, which is a front flip with a half twist. We're gonna show you 12 different ways to do a front flip on the trampoline. So the front pike is a front flip, but instead of tucking like this or like this, you're going to Go like this. You like hop on one foot, hop on the other, and then flip. Or where you bounce on one foot and then do the flip. It's a little bit harder that way. Like boom, boom, boom. Instead of actually like grabbing with both legs, you only grab one leg and the other leg is straight. So it's like sort of like half of your body is in a tuck and the other half is in a lay. God. Today we're gonna try a new challenge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to do as many consecutive flips on the trampoline as we can and we'll time them and see who can go for longer and they don't have to be hard tricks and you just have to do as many as you can until you drop. Three, two, one, go. Forty-eight point fifty-two. Three, two, one, start. It's twenty-four point two two seconds. Today we're gonna teach you twenty different ways to do a backflip. This is the back layout. So it's pretty similar to a pike, but instead of grabbing your legs, you're still gonna keep your legs together. You're gonna bend your legs a little bit like this, so it's not completely straight. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start here and then in the middle of the flip you're gonna move like this and then you're gonna land like this. You're gonna do the back flip as you go forward and you're about to turn backwards but instead of tucking or doing whatever you do in the back flip, you're gonna put your hands by your head like this for a second.
uh, Q&A, but you guys aren't going to be asking us the questions. We're just going to be answering like questions you might ask. The reason why I thought we should start YouTube is because whenever we try to like look up to learn how to do a trick, it's always like kind of like complicated and they don't really get it down to like what it is. They like make it too complicated. So we wanted to make how like to, for people like us to learn tricks. You are under arrest. For what? <laughs> Haven't you seen the signs on an Akon? You're not allowed to do flips on an Akon. But they're like meant for that. No. I'm trying to do the intro here. Get out of the shot. Fine. Do you want to play catch? Sure. What? I can't stop with these feelings taking over me. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Nikon D5300. So this camera comes with two lenses. It comes with an 18 by 55 millimeter lens, which is smaller and it's used for shooting like more close-up angles. And there's also the 7, 70 by 300 millimeter lens, which is used for shooting things that are far away, and it's a larger lens. Right here's the shutter like button. Here is this, the video start info. Here you hit this button back to make the screen show what you see on the, like what the lens sees so you don't have to look through the viewfinder. To put on the lens, what you're gonna do is there's a white dot and you're gonna take off the plastic cover. Make sure to hold it down so there's no dust on it. Then you're gonna take off your camera cover. Then you're gonna line the lens. You're gonna line the two white dots and then you're gonna twist it on and then you got the lens on. Thirty creative ways to backflip on the trampoline. For this flip, you're gonna separate your legs and then separate them again in the other direction. So it's like a flash kick, but then twice. To our understanding, this flip is a gainer flash kick, and it looks awesome. Can you guys make a parlor video with your GoPro? I know you meant to say parkour, but you misspelled it and you said parlor, which is kind of like a parlor. So now you're gonna sit here for 10 minutes watching me sit in my parlor with nothing to do. I'm just gonna stare at the camera. Yep. Just kidding, we're not gonna do that.
out of cereal. Out of all 45 videos we uploaded this year, I had some favorites. First of all, the 100 subscriber Q&A, because it was really fun to shoot and edit the first scene. And it was also really cool answering your questions in skit form, and for 200 subscribers we'll do something similar. The exchange was super fun to create, watch, and write, and I think it turned out really well. Trampling vs. Handcuffs was our first real video with the short film style. And as you can probably tell, we liked it, so we incorporated that style into many of our more recent videos, such as this one in the intro, Faster. Even though I didn't like the story as much as the exchange because it was more complex and convoluted, but it had a really fun choreographing and editing the fight scene, which in my opinion was better than that at the exchange. In the one year on YouTube, we've gained 125 subscribers, and we've gained 3,769 views. This is stupid. Who would even watch that video?